In this video, I'm going to show you how to use conditional logic to auto-populate fields in an IPEX remote web form. Why would this be useful? For, well, let's say, for example, you have a very large form or you've combined a number of forms into one. There may be instances where the user has to enter the same information twice. So in this case, we've got first name and last name here. And then in another section of the form, we've also got first name and last name. What I'm going to do is show you how you can utilize conditional logic to auto populate these fields on the form. So if we go to form manager, we've got my example form. If I click on settings and go into the form builder, I'm going to scroll down and identify the fields that I want to uh, auto populate. So we're going to use first name and last name. So I'm going to click on edit, scroll down to the bottom, and you're going to click on the field conditions option here. We're going to add a condition and we're going to add some logic. So in this case, it's going to be first name. Obviously, this is the first one that comes up. So we want first name equal to, and we're going to use what we called a wildcard. So basically the little star. That means that as long as there is a value uh, in that field, then the logic will work. And then we want the result to be a field value. And that field value is going to be first name. So I'm going to save that now. And I'm going to do the same for contact name. So click on edit, field conditions, add condition, add logic. This time we want last name, start for a wildcard, so equal to field value and last name. So if I save that now, if we go back to this form, you'll see currently the logic isn't working. But if I refresh the form, and now I enter Joe Blogs here. If we scroll down the page, you can now see that Joe Blogs has been auto populated in those fields. So that's how you can utilize conditional logic in an IPEGS web form to auto populate one field to another.